Hey guys, in honor of Harry Potter's birthday this past Sunday, and also the release of this, I thought it would be fun to give everybody a tour of Tiny's Harry Potter themed nursery. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's the button. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we started by picking the colors gray and white. I kind of wanted a more chic, sort of minimalistic Wizarding World feel. Um, and then for our little pop of color, we picked teal. So this room in our house actually is the only room where we've completely finished the crown molding. You can see it right here. It just makes the room look so much more complete and like much more professional. It was a lot of work, Mike said, getting all the cuts right, but he did a great job, so it looks really, really good. Okay, so in this corner we have this white rocking chair, which actually my parents trash picked off the side of the road. It was completely wood, so Mike and I sanded it down and spray painted it white to match with the rest of the furniture. Um, this broom that I made back in my days of being in Harry Potter Club. And then this dark gray side table we got from Home Goods. I think it matched really well with the theme of the room. And you'll see also the drapes um, in his room are dark gray to go with the theme. And then these pillows here we got from Home Goods also. Mike actually picked them out. And we loved this teal color, so we kind of picked the rest of the room to match this because we found these pillows first. The other cool thing about this corner is I found this little heart looking thing at Target and it had four um, hooks at the bottom of it. It was gray so I thought it was nice. It matched the rest of the room. But on these hooks I keep uh, Tiny's burp cloth and his bibs because we do feed him in the rocking chair so it's like really nice and easy for me to grab while he's here throwing up on my shirt. So here we have Tiny's bookshelf with all of his bedtime stories. Of course all the Harry Potter novels. Um, I got this shelf at Target. I love these little square basket thingies. I got them at Target as well. And then I got this owl at Home Goods. It actually had a silly little fake plant coming out of the top of its head. So I ripped that out and made it wand parking, which I thought was adorable. <laughs> so above Chinese bookshelf, which is down here, um, we have this cute little cage with a candle inside it that we also got at Home Goods. I, I liked it because it reminded me of Hedwig's cage. And then this really adorable mobile my sister actually made for Tiny when she found out the theme of the room. It's really cute. It's got glasses, a little wand, some keys with wings on them, uh, a broom, and like an adorable little lightning bolt. And then over here we have picture frames that we still haven't filled yet. That's better. So this part of Tiny's room has his changing table, uh, which is a dresser with a changing table on top of it. It's white to match the theme. And then his uh, his sheets on the changing table are little owls. Um, and then these shelves um, I also got at Target. They've got a time turner, an owl, an Ollivander's wand box, which is actually from Orlando, Florida, a pair of Quidditch goggles, and I thought this was really cute. I saw it on Pinterest. It's a snitch in a mason jar. Also, I love being super organized, so I got this little shelf of baskets at Home Goods. I actually use it to pull his cloth diapers and all his other things and wipes and such and whatnot. And it's great because when we're changing him, we have this like on hand. So in this corner, we have Tiny's crib. It's white, of course, to match his room. A cute little blanket from his grandma with an owl on it to match the theme. And then my friend's mom actually knitted this gorgeous blanket um, that matches the colors really well. And then his sheets are the same sheets that are on the changing pad with the owls on them. And a cute little owl mobile. He wouldn't be part of this family without his own Siberian Husky and his little dragon to keep him company. The next two cards are actually my favorite. I love this Dumbledore quote on the wall over here. It took me forever to get it up, but I thought it just added like a really nice touch to the room. And then over here on this wall, I actually drew little baby versions of all the animals from each Hogwarts house. So I hope you guys enjoyed Tiny's nursery tour. I had a really good time coming up with all the stuff I wanted to put in this room. It was a lot of fun. I'm off to read this now, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!